If you're looking to grow your business and get more visits and sales, but aren't sure how to use stats to help focus your energy, let's walk through a quick example. Compare your visits and orders for this year so far. You notice both metrics declining since January. May is picking up, which is very encouraging, but you want to be sure you're actively working to reverse this downward trend. For some additional context, let's compare to last year. Looks like you were, overall, receiving more visits and sales last year. You notice a particularly large gap between April 2016 and this past April. Let's drill down into this past April to understand year-over-year -year differences in more depth. Compared to last April, your traffic is down 51% and your orders and revenue are also down. Looking at traffic, you notice about 40% came from within Etsy this past April, and 12.5% came from social media. Now, let's check out April 2016. Almost 55% of your traffic came from within Etsy, and only 0.5% came from social media. Based on all this data, you set some goals. First, to optimize your listings for Etsy search and raise Etsy search traffic to 50% of your total. To get started on that, head to the Listings tab for tailored recommendations on how to improve your listings and increase their visibility. Also consider checking out the Customers tab for more tag inspiration and ideas on how to expand your product line so you're selling items buyers want. Next, you decide to capitalize on your increased social media traffic by reinvesting in Instagram. You decide to post twice a day, every day this month, market your most visited listings, and plan one giveaway to engage your followers. Analyzing your stats over the long term can reveal trends in your business, which can help you decide what to design, stock, and market next. Look at stats like a partner that can guide your goals and help you measure success.